the city of Encinitas is probably one of the most serene, peaceful places I could imagine living. You have the beach, you have great restaurants, a great community. It's, it's a really special place. I think it's one of a kind. This is the perfect spot for a resort. With the bluffs, with the ocean, you have really something that is quintessential California. And that's really what we were trying to embrace here and why we fell in love with the area and the site. We had to take the natural surroundings that were inherent and bring those into the design of the building, but also in a way that really represented Encinitas. Once we felt like we had the right design, it was time to make it a reality. Our role as, as a construction firm is to really bridge the gap between design and, and execution. Capturing the vision of what we're intending to do, but actually starting to plan how we're going to bring that to life. We, we had, uh, as part of this project, we had an opportunistic sand replenishment. And we had to actually build an access road through the state uh, beach parking lot, and we had to dump about 40,000 yards of sand onto the beach. How often do you get to do that on a beach and then also take that sand down to the beach to help with erosion control? That is like, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is a project unlike anything that most people will ever do because of just where it is, how complicated it is, how complicated the site is. I almost would like to have stopped design and done a tour of the building when we dug this thing out and had it all supported because as marvelous as the hotel is now finished, that was really where the hidden talent, marvel, and huge engineering uh, accomplishments were made. As you're driving south along the Highway 101, it looks like the hotel is an extension of the bluff. It really is spectacular. It's breathtaking in a lot of ways. It blends in very nicely with what has always been there for you know, thousands of years. There's, there's an elegance about this place that you just get from the natural, natural beauty of, of the coastline and, and, and where it is. They, they really made a strong effort to include as much of the local community into the actual project. And, and you know, they didn't just say it, they actually did it. We used David Allen Furniture. They custom made our front desk. And then we have Aaron Chang. Aaron Chang is a famous ocean and nature photographer. He used to surf right at Ponto State Beach. Having a local surfer that actually shaped boards that are integrated uh, within our wall panels in that space, um, you know, I, I, it's, it's awesome. Without question, the Vaga Terrace and the Perch are unbelievable. When you go outside the bar at the Vaga restaurant, there's an outdoor area that is covered, it has three fire pits, and it leads you on to the top of the bluff that is a grassed area, but you're up about 60 feet above the ocean. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. When I sit back and look at this, I'm just immensely proud. I'm, I'm immensely proud of the team and what the team has accomplished to respect the environment and to build something beautiful that, that is timeless. I hope it's inspiration uh, for them and for others and, and that, that developments like this can be done the right way. As a, a, a local surfer that happens to surf right at the jetty just, just north of this hotel, every time I paddle out to be able to look back at, at this building, um, you know, talk about a sense of accomplishment, I mean, I think that's something that like very few people get in, in their career.